all right guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be doing a wheel swap on the satin and gold datsun 510 here so i bought this airbrush many 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 years ago and i've never been able to use it i have a video on my uh airbrush settings i think i believe is the title it's not that old the video so i bought this thing uh to be able to paint small things and uh, not use a lot of paint but i found that uh of course this is a cheap airbrush just not expensive which i also talk about on that video the things that uh i do to get a, a a good and high quality finish, uh, one of the things I do is I polish the needle. This one is not polished yet. I didn't have a chance to do it. I was just trying to test it. Uh, so Spectre Flame Paint does not go through this airbrush with the original uh, needle. It's a 0.2 millimeter needle. And no matter how I diluted the, the paint, it will not go through. So I had to go on the eBay machine and order a needle. I ordered two from uh, somewhere in China. And it took like two months to get here, but it finally did. And you get a needle and you get this little tip here, which fits the the 0.3 millimeter needle through it and it took just a little bit of paint i actually filled the cup with gold paint thinking that uh i was going to use it all for these uh, rims here but it, most of the paint well, i just had to throw it out because i already put uh, the hardener on it so it does work Let me see if I'll get that later. Put it back together. Give me a second. Here it is. So it did work. I feel like uh, I can, I have to reduce the paint a little bit more because uh, the paint comes out, but at 30 PSI, it, it feels like uh, not a lot of paint comes out and i'd rather have that control here with the with the trigger so next time i use it i'll probably dilute it uh, a little bit more see how things go down but for now let me put this away and we're gonna start drilling on the dots in there i'll be back all right so here's a look at the rims Let's put the, I got these wheels from the, the blue Datsun 510, which has the metal, metal chassis. And all these, uh, all these, all the cars that come with this type of wheel, they all have the same length. So they're all the same. They're in, you know, you could interchange them with any other car. You, you can see here that if you have two different cars that have this, these same wheels, real riders, you can measure here and the, all of them have the same, the same space. All right, let's get to drilling. All right, I've mentioned this before, but from time to time I repeat it. I have a 116 drill bit. Let me see if I can get a new one. Very important to have new drill bits. Once you see that uh, it's not really taking out any metal, I as well throw them out. This is how big they are. I cut them 
just so I can sit them far in, in the drill. That way it do, they don't wobble when you're drilling. I use big swags, so I don't like using oil. And with this, since I've, I know I've done many of these before, this amount of uh, length here on the drill bit, I know it's, it's not gonna go through. So I don't have to worry about that. I like to drill the small hole first. That'll serve as a guide once I use the other drill bit. Which I don't remember the drill size right now. I think it's right here. Yeah. 964. Is it? Yeah, like this. 964. Believe it or not, I buy these at uh, either online or Harbor Freight. Since I only use them for this, they they last a long time. So when you, when you do this, try to be careful. You don't have to go full speed. You see all the metal that's taken out. That's because the drill bit is new. And I should have gone through the, I should have taken it off metal out. Now watch this. So I have my little flat tip screwdriver here. Sometimes this little ring comes off, sometimes it doesn't. It all depends on how the machine uh, created uh, the mushroom head here. But you can see here that uh, the metal is gone and you can see the plastic here. Look. And it's off. You perfect, no damage to the base. Sometimes these the plastic gets stuck on the back here. There it is. Now, what I like to do is separate these little tabs here. Very simple. And the new reel riders just drop in place. Let me get another tool. All right. Move this back a little. We got a pliers here. so basically put it like this so the wheels are not touching anything they're up in the air and I just bring the little tabs down again and close them you could also use another pliers for example like this since this has a bigger surface, it'll close everything down again. Everything looks nice and original. Let's open this up a little bit. Like this. There 
it is. Take this off. And uh, sometimes you have uh, like too much metal here and it doesn't go back. It doesn't want to go back smoothly. That's why uh, you see many people clean up the, the post here a little bit. bit deeper just so it's a lot easier to tap it quick measure here make sure I'm not gonna go all the way through This is my 254th tap. See, when you make the hole deep enough, as this thing is taking metal away or out, some of the metal goes back in the hole. So if the hole is deep enough, you're not gonna have any problems. See, it goes in smoothly. And everything should go back together. Very nice. Now I have to get a screw. And there it is. Let me get a screw to screw this on and I'll be back. All right, got my uh, 256 316 button head screw. Could be shorter, but made the post long enough. And you can see everything went back together. It's very smooth. Let me see if I try this Molotov acrylic marker here for uh, headlights. Use them before with a lot of paint. Headlights. Let me see if I can do the tail lights without messing it up.
Man, how about we do the mirrors? What we at here? Very nice, quickie, custom. I know there's a debate online where people say that wheel swaps are not customs. I, uh, I, don't, I can't agree with that. There are different levels of customs. And wheel swaps is just uh, like the first step. You don't know how to do wheel swaps. You can't move on onto doing more uh, crazy custom or more difficult custom. So something like this, to a lot of people that uh, maybe customized, they've been customizing for a long time, it's nothing, but for somebody that doesn't know how to do it, something simple like this is very, difficult that's why I consider it a custom and that's gonna be it for today thank you for watching working on something special waiting on uh, a few things to come in the mail and I'll be seeing you on the next one peace out